If you want to give players on your server access to commands without opting them, this machine is perfect for you. Hello guys, what is up, this is Cowie, and welcome back to another command block contraption video. And what this one does is it allows non-operator players to run operator commands on your server. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to set the weather to a rain. And you can't actually see it because I have my particles turned off in Optifine. But trigger weather set 1. And what that will do is clear the weather, and because I use a trigger command, that means that any player on your server can do it, because uh, the trigger command is not an operator command. Any player can run the trigger command. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. But I will show you guys how to build this machine. So first off, you might like to run these three commands in your chat. Uh, the command block output false gets rid of your command block spam. This gets rid of the uh, feedback that it would give you uh, when you run the command. And this one here is a must. You have to do this. Score objectives add weather trigger. That adds the scoreboard that tracks this data that we're using to run the commands. But these ones here that are numbered, there are commands written down in the video description that correspond to each number. So you can copy and paste them into the respectful command block and um, respective command block, I should say. And you should be ready to go. But I will briefly explain what these ones do. So number one here and number two are both just running the fill clock on these command blocks so that the redstone blocks keep reappearing here and that's all they do. They don't have any um, they don't have any other effect other than that. But number three here is doing score players enable at a weather. And that is enabling all the players to use that trigger that I just showed you uh, with the trigger weather set or whatever it's called. And then number four is executing at all players that have a score of 1. So if you uh, if you run that trigger command and set it to 1, it will find you and it will then run a weather clear command. And this fifth one here, if you did not like the idea of having the uh, text show up when somebody clears the weather, you can just delete this command block and you will be fine. This one here though is doing the tell raw stuff. If the, your score is 1, it runs a tell raw command that uh, just does all the stuff. And if you want to change the text, you can just change it in here. Now this sixth command is a must have. You must have this command block at the end of all your other command blocks. And that is a score of players set, uh, all players that have a score of at least one, weather zero. So that means that um, once you've done it, it sets it back to zero so that you can do it again. Otherwise you would only be able to do it once and it would keep spamming and spamming and keep doing it over and over again. So a cool thing about this machine is that you can expand it. As long as you have this command block as the final one, you can put as many commands as you would like in between these ones. So here what I've done is I've added in a command block to test for uh, the player setting their score to 2, and if so we run a weather rain command. This one here is just uh, doing the text feedback. This one here is testing for a player that sets it to 3, and then if so running weather thunder. This one here is the text feedback for that. So what that means is that if we set our trigger score to 2 rather than 1, we should start seeing the uh, rain effect. So yep, Kaui is changing to rainy weather, and of course if we set it to 3 we get stormy weather and it will start thundering. So yeah, you can change it. And uh, if you would like to change the parameter name, so what shows up here, so you, you could change it from weather to something else, when you're running the startup command, where is it? There it is. When you're running the startup command, change the phrase in here and make sure that you use the phrase in all your command blocks. Wherever you see weather uh, in the commands, change that to the phrase that you used. So before you guys run off and build this machine, if you're running 15W34A or higher, so one of the 1.9 snapshots, I really recommend the 1.9 version of this machine that does the exact same thing. You can click on the card that is on screen right now to go straight to that video. Uh, it's a lot more concise and more simple and uses the optimizations of the command blocks in 1.9. But that is all I've got time for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, rate, do whatever you want to do. It all does help. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.